In this demo, we're going to talk about the two core objects, um, the kind of or the whole idea behind uh, OA and how everything got started. Uh, the first one's OA object, and it basically represents uh, one of the objects in the model. And this here is the Java doc for that, kind of describes how it all works and what's built into it. This is the base class that's used for uh, uh, all of the data objects that are uh, built into the model. And basically they're set up to work with um, your data, data source layer, also between uh, uh, multiple uh, applications themselves, like client and server, but distributed also across applications, so, so they all stay in sync. Uh, the hub collection is a collection of basically OA objects and within that application it's able to um, uh, form a collection of objects but also between your collections of objects you can have relationships like master details you can have one collection getting filtered into another collection uh, you can have what's called uh, merges where you can have uh, a collection that's based on a property path that goes from one object uh, through a bunch of object, other objects using uh, a property path to actually go grab those objects and keep all those in sync. Since it's observable, it's also able to uh, do things like um, uh, set up listeners and have uh, some automated listeners built into it so that if a change is made that affects something else in the system that uh, triggers code. Uh, to actually make that update and keep again keep everything in sync. One of the issues with using observable and the fact that uh, th there's so much power behind it as far as application and automation is that there's usually a lot of overhead in that. And with within um, uh, OA object in the hub, kind of the secret sauce is actually how it manages that overhead and basically minimizes it by having the observability not be built into every single object but actually how it's built in, uh, up into the collection that it's uh, maintained in and between collections so that we have as little, da little uh, information as possible to actually observe as much as possible.